Hey traders, we thought we'd do something a little bit different and interview Nick with some of the questions you guys had in the VIP community and also as our Instagram followers. If you had to choose between being an entrepreneur or a trader, which would you choose? So entrepreneur versus trader. This is kind of like the old, uh, which one would you rather do? Because I've, I've definitely done both. And before I was a trader, I was an entrepreneur. I, I grew up um, my dad is a very entrepreneurial person and he taught me a lot of lessons about you know, starting businesses and, and hustling and, and finding ways to do things smarter to make money. Um, and I think it's a, good, uh, it's a good life skill and I think that you can be entrepreneurial without actually starting a business. Um, however, trading is by its, its very you know, definition, we talk about trading like a business, it really is an entrepreneurial venture. So I don't know that I could really uh, you know, choose between the two because as a trader, I am an entrepreneur and I was an entrepreneur before I was a trader. Uh, because if you are a trader, you are certainly, if you are a successful trader at the very least, uh, you are definitely a, a business-minded individual. Even if you don't run a business, your trading account is like a business because you have expenses, right? You have losses, you have profits, which are when you take a, a trade and it goes in your favor and you close out money. Um, and then you have situations where you have to deal with uh, the ups and downs of any other business, which is you know the emotions of things going right or wrong uh, and dealing with um, you know all that sort of stuff, world events and things like that. It's, it's very, very similar because I run both, right? I've been trading for five years, I've run a business or this business for uh, two years. So I've, I've definitely done both and I can tell you that there's so many similarities between doing both well because you have to be disciplined in both, you have to really pay attention to what you're doing in both. It's neither is easy and neither is, um, you know, it, both of them take a tremendous amount of work. Now if I had to choose, uh, it may surprise some people that I would probably say entrepreneur because that's what I was before I was a trader and that's what actually got me into trading. So when I first got into trading, it was because um, you know I was looking at all the different ways to make money online. Like a lot of people on the internet, I was just looking at different things that you could do. I found stock market investing, which eventually turned into stock trading, and then I found currency trading. And I was just fascinated by all of it because of all the entrepreneurial build up that I had had in my life up to that point trying to find ways to make money and I took the markets as a as a big big challenge they are still a challenge and that's still why I feel that I'm still you know in love with learning to trade and improving as a trader because it's one of those things it's a ginormous you know chess game or puzzle piece because you're trying to figure out the best ways to grow accounts and to do it in a in a controlled you know risk environment and so all of that is entrepreneurship it's it's that's the reason that I got into trading in the first place a lot of you guys might be able to relate to that you might feel that you're an entrepreneurial person uh, yeah. watching this and you might say you know I like trading because I'm an entrepreneurial person I like to, to come up with ideas and be creative and come up with new ways to approach things and do things differently than others that really is what but, um, you know, makes a good entrepreneur and makes a good trader. So I would say entrepreneurship first, but trading is a product of entrepreneurship. So that's my opinion. So a lot of people seem to be bothered by this. Why do you have an office if you are a trader? This question is funny to me because um, really uh, in our last video, we talked about entrepreneurship versus trading. And uh, I think that the office was definitely something that, that has improved both. It's improved the business side of A1 Trading, which is the, the business that I run and we work on together as a team here. Um, and then it also has actually improved my trading. And uh, here's why. In office, I understand that you know I could just sit at home and trade. And that's actually what I did. Before I got the office, I was running the YouTube channel and I was trading. And that was pretty much all I did uh, for money for a while. But I became very, very bored of it very, very quickly. Because my trading only takes about an hour to two hours a day and creating videos is fun uh, and I enjoy it and I, and I obviously love doing it and we still post on the channel almost every day um, but at a certain point I like the human interaction and I don't like just sitting at home by myself so that was actually driving me crazy so I needed an office even if I was in here by myself because I just needed to get out of the house and say hello to people and, and get in my car and you know honk the horn and, and yell at people just kidding but the idea is that you know I, I just needed that human interaction I couldn't just sit at home and trade a lot of people fantasize about like oh you just get to a point where you can just sit at home and do nothing and that to me is just the worst idea ever it's the same reason why personally I wouldn't like to sit on the beach all day either I could sit at the beach for a day or two but 
then I start getting really bored and I want to go explore and do things and adventure. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that, right? It's, it's good on paper and in the pictures you're like, oh, the beach, it's amazing. You can sit there and just enjoy it forever. And it's great for a day or two, but then you want to start exploring. You want to go take bike rides. And for me, that was where A1 trading really became a thing. I said, you know what? I like trading. I love making videos. You know, I'm doing this. I'm making, I'm making good money. But I want to grow. I want to do more things with life. So that's where I started creating content. And we're doing coverage of, of uh, you know, markets. And we've got writers and, and you know, marketing, uh, you know, Julie who does all the marketing. And then we've got, um, you know, different people doing different tasks. And, and Will edits the videos. And, you know, collectively we do a lot more as a team. And I feel a lot more fulfillment creating more stuff. You know, for me, it's, it's using the office as a place of being more productive. I find myself, you know, lazier at home just because I don't have as much motivation. Uh, I like to get you know dressed up and go to the office it makes me act more professional in my actual trading right because when I feel like I'm you know I'm here to work I'm here to pay attention and focus uh, my trading my I feel like it goes up a notch uh, and everything else just kind of improves as well so it's a productivity thing it's also just a, a life happiness thing for me to have a, a, a nice space to work with other people and to meet great people here at the office as well so um, that's why we've got an office Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below and follow us on Instagram at A1 Trading Team to send in any questions you may have for a future video like this and see more behind the scenes content of what goes on at A1 Trading Team.